hi there welcome back to the new video and in this video i will show you how you can create a bar chart so yeah bar chart without bar chart every visualization tutorial is incomplete because this is the most favorite chart and most easy to understand chart and uh, now in seaborn i will show you how you can create a bar chart but before i move ahead um, apart from all the tutorials that I have shared, uh, if you want to see anything else in the in the Seaborn tutorial, you let me know in the comments and I'll try to create a chart about it and uh, post it here in the channel. Alright, so the data that we have been using, if you are following my previous videos, it's the sales data. So just to show you the data set, this is what the data set looks like. So if I press DD, it will be removed but it is uh, close to real data set again based on some uh, you know uh, you know uh, dummy uh, sales store uh, it's about all the orders which have been uh, served by that sales store so what do we want to create is uh, the bar chart so sns dot uh, not the bar cat plot category plot because bar chart is nothing but the category plot where on the x-axis you have categories on the y-axis you have the continuous variable so x equals to let's say product category and y equals to let's say sales data equals to sales and kind equals to bar oops okay could not interpret product category all right um, data equals to sales so no problem um, what we want is sales dot columns and it will show us the columns product category I think that's what I have written over here product category um, Think this doesn't make any issue the single quotation sales sales let me just recheck could not interpret input product category sns dot cat plot um let me add this yeah so maybe i made some mistake over there while writing it so it's a very simple chart over here you have the error bars and uh, on the categories you have the three different categories and their respective values so it's a very simple and straightforward bar chart in the uh, in the seaborn but you can make it complex by adding more parameter like hue you want to see it let's say by shipping mode right so all these three different shipping mode is basically will be displayed over here along with your error bars apart from this like you have seen in the previous videos you have a lot of different options like uh, how do you want uh, hue whether you want row like for each individual row you want to have some values for example if you have not seen the previous video row equals to let's say customer segment and uh, this will produce for small business this is the chart for consumer this is the chart for corporate this is the chart so for each customer segment it will create a chart so sort of a loop but if you want in one single column you can specify call and uh, you will get all these four different chart small business consumer corporate and home office in one single row for better comparison perspective but yeah you can uh, you can evaluate all those uh, different options which are there as you know these are pretty straightforward uh, but require some some time if in case if you are not using it right but down there you have a lot of explanation and uh, over here some examples like how to put it and you can take an advantage of that but yeah if if there is anything uh, where you are finding difficulty let me know into the comments and uh, I'll, I'll try to reply with the answer if i know and uh, hopefully that will help you and maybe one last thing which i will just uh, inform you about changing the orientation so right now it's a vertical chart but if you want horizontal well it's a straightforward there is no parameter over here but what you can do is uh, 
you can i will just remove this uh, these two parameters just to make it like little simple however it will not have any problem if we are keeping that so we will just say y equals to product category and x equals to sales that's it and you will have a chart like that so if you may wonder or maybe searching for a parameter for the horizontal chart like this then that's not there you just need to change the x and y categories like i just did and you will find a good looking bar chart over here as per your needs so that's about it let me know what do you um how did you find it in the comments and uh, i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic